Welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hassan, how are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon mm. to you. We got a great recipe today. Yes. Unfortunately, there's no name for this roll. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a name yet. Well, actually, that's not true. We've been to several restaurants already, and they have names for this roll. However, you've changed a couple things. Instead of shrimp, you're using lobster tail. Mm. But nonetheless, uh, this is just a nice combination of ingredients here. Mm, mm. So let's show everybody what's inside this roll. Okay, so main ingredient is going to be uh, lobster tail for okay. this roll. And of course, you can use the shrimp instead of this one. Okay. Okay, and next one is a tuna, fresh tuna. I'm going to make with the spicy tuna with this. Okay. And the spicy tuna ingredient, I mean, for spicy sesame oil and the sriracha, mayonnaise, and the kimchi sauce. Okay. And I'm going to add to the avocado. All oh, right. And then here's just a regular sushi rice as usual. And uh, I'm going to use a soy paper instead of a seaweed today. And that what makes this roll very, yeah. very special. Instead of the seaweed, it's soy paper, which adds a lot more softness. Uh, seaweed can, can be kind of hard. Yes, actually, uh, so at the restaurants, some people actually not really don't want to eat the seaweed. Yeah. Right. So sometimes we're going to use it instead seaweed. I'm going to use this one. Uh, they have a sale of a different uh, color. Uh, made by uh, edamame or something else. Uh, this is uh, the pink one. Okay. So maybe this is hard to get. I think uh, which I we usually go to the uh, Asian market doesn't have it. So we went to another place. So if you see this one, try. Yeah, try. Soy paper. It's Soy really paper. lovely. Trust Soy me, paper. I want to tell you that. Oh, this is uh, crepe, right? Crepe. Yeah, crepe. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna do a uh, tempura, so I have here the tempura powder here. Okay. It's already mixed up with the cold water already. One. I'm gonna add to the uh, sauces, sriracha sauce, sesame oil a little bit, kimchi sauce, and the uh, mayonnaise. If you like, if you don't like it, don't add it. Just mix it up. Definitely have to put in the mayo, guys. Trust me when I tell you that. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing. We've seen a lot of recipes out there when they're making spicy tuna. Yeah. They just put in sriracha. And Trust uh, me, it tastes nothing like actually, what Hero's one more thing spicy tuna is. Um, if you want to add more spiciness without to the things to become watery, you can add to the... I have a one more another thing is a spicy here. It's called uh, ichimi or yeah. shichimi pepper. Yeah. So if you add this one, you can make it more spiciness. Okay. Without too, too much water. Right. Right? So it's a tip. Let's add some here. Can we? You sure? <laughs> you like a spicy. You like that. Let's try some. Right? Definitely. Nice, nice, so nice. So make it more spicy it's coming. Okay. Right? Okay, so spicy tuna here. I'm going to keep on the side here. Okay. And next one, let's go start to the uh, lobster tempura. Okay. First, I'm going to cut to the shell off. Taking off the shell off. I mean, the meats off from the uh, shell. Then I'm gonna take off the meat out from this. This one pretty easy, right? Okay. Go like that. Oh, nice big piece on here. A good big piece, right? Yeah, that's delicious. Okay, so I'm going to cut into the half. Okay. Okay. Because of that, I wanna put to uh, uh, this one in the roll like this. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty much clean inside. Right. And 
I'm going to use the skewer in case I'm going to make keeping the uh, meat straight. All right. No? That's a great idea. Okay, so I'm going to put the tempera butter and intro into the oil, but uh, looks like a little bit big, right? So you can cut off the edge. Take it out. Can cut off the edge. Okay, that's it. Next one, I want a quick salt and pepper on the meats. Check our oil temperature. What temperature do you want, Hero? Uh, about just around 350. Okay, right now it's a little, little bit under 350 is fine. It's at 300 right now, so just 300 a now. minute or so. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to. Okay, next one. First, I'm going to do into the tempera powder self. Like that. And next, go to the with the mixer and water, tempera butter. This is actually easier to fry too. You just hold the stick, right? The skewer, and you just right, drop it in right, slowly. Right, right like that. We are at 320 now. Yep, just about. Okay. Hmm. I think after this made the tempura, ready to eat. <laughs> yeah. Right. Take it out to the skewer. Uh, the, the little twisting is more easy to pull out. Okay, like that. And today we are going to use the soy paper. Let's check this out. Oh, the pink one. This is very delicate, so when you're spreading rice over this, you gotta be really gentle. That's gonna right. tear. Yeah, today I'm going to do uh, this paper coming in outside. So I'm gonna put the rice here and stuff okay. in here and roll it up. First, I go into add the spicy tuna in the bottom. Let's lose everything here. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I try, I try, but uh, I don't want to the make it too big. I mean, if you put up too much stuff, I cannot hold it. You know. Okay. I try. Good and the uh, lobster. Wow, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's a huge yeah. piece. That's a little bit of coming outside, it's fine. And then avocado. Hopefully, avocado is perfect. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna put the avocado a little bit on this side. I'm gonna turn it a little bit on the other side too. Like that. Okay, let's roll it up. You can cut straight 
Mara. More nicer with that plastic. Nicer and plus I've seen with it where plastic, when you cut it, you know, the soy paper tears. Right. So I just tried right the edge. The dough. Stuff. Let's take a look at this here. No overcook, right? Unbelievable. You can catch that with the camera. Yeah, inside. yeah, you can catch it. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that lobster meat. It's like in the center of the world. Perfectly world too, by the way. I'm show the center. Oh, uh, I try to put the uh, all you know the spices and all around. Yeah. A little bit. Of <laughs> this is not too. I don't see much. Oh wow! What a beautiful looking roll. It's still steaming hot too. Right, right, right. I'm telling you, it looks delicious. Okay. Huge roll. Robusta with the spicy tuna avocado. Delicious. I can't so wait to try this. Seriously. No name on it. <laughs> no name roll. Here, that looks so beautiful. Put the, put the comment on below. Comment on. below, yeah. I don't know what you want to call this I thing. Should, what should I call this one? How about name after me? Charles. The Charles roll. Charles roll? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Charles roll. Charles roll. But I don't like the pink. I think I need a manly color. No pink yeah, they have a green, for me. They have a green and uh, they have a sesame seeds stuff and outside. Mm. <laughs> I think orange too. They have orange. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks so much, Hero. Thank you very much. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a name down below. What do you think this should be called? Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. We have come to the tasting, tasting part. Pot. Are you mm. ready for this? Sure. Enjoy. I'm gonna try from the center. Oh, this side you can see more color. Like that. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit of soy sauce. Mm. Robusta is perfect to um, cooking, mm -hmm. not too hard. Not overdone at all. No, overcook. And um, of course, tempura, if you make it a tempura, a little bit of sweet, right? Yeah. From the tempura flour, the tempura flake. And the spicy, just uh, good for me, not too spicy. Not too crazy spicy. Right. Mm. And then soybean pe pepper, of course, is very different than seaweed. Yeah. You know? Much softer. I'm going to try a piece here. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Look at that. Lobster. It's still warm. Mm hmm. I like more soy sauce. A lot of mm. lobster, right? Look at this. Mm. This is more lobster in it. Mm. Wow. Mm. The ones I've had, I've had shrimp in it, but this lobster, mm. so, try, so good. Try this piece, a lot of lobster. This is so, so good. Spicy tuna. Just a hint of spice from the kimchi sauce and the sriracha. 
but just enough. But let me tell you, this lobster is fried perfectly. I like the fact that it's soy paper. I mentioned earlier, it's really soft. Really great tasting, you know? I mm. want to do a little bit on a healthy way to eat this one. Last little piece, okay? Mm. I don't know, you guys might know what the hell you guys are doing. But actually, I want to do put a little mayonnaise on it, right? Mm. Torch mail. Right? Yeah, so. Then, How about some Ikuro, Hero? Put some Ikuro on that. <laughs> Come on, let's let's make it fancy. <laughs> fancy? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of Ikuro on top. And that. Scallion. Scallion. Well, as a record decoration. That's it. Oh man, we should so have done it this maybe way. Maybe this is a different level. <laughs> we should have done it this way. <laughs> Enjoy, Hero. Enjoy. What? Tell me what you think. What? Oh man. I think it's going to be even better. Mmm. 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 <laughs> How's it? It must try this. That's a good way, right? Mmm. Let's do them both here. Let's do them both. Okay. So I can take a nice picture for Instagram. You can arrange me to a lot. Mayonnaise with the mixture is a little bit of masago. Mm. It's how you can feel that little popping. Yeah, a little like popping. A popping. I think it just bubble up. I like this. Another dimension. It looks beautiful too. Well, guys, I'm gonna try this off camera, but here it looks beautiful. Yep. Yeah, to get a couple pictures there before we enjoy this one, Hero. Love your idea. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Check this out. Hero made a delicious looking roll, even more beautiful. Amazing, huh? Perfect. Wow. I wish you guys could seriously make this at home. So simple, right, Hero? Yeah, very simple. Mm. You, you like more this way, for sure. You mm. like ikura, so. Mm. 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 One of my off time favorite rolls. Wow. <clears throat> Something about that mayo, mm. when you add some heat to it, it changes the, the taste of it, almost like that volcano style. Mm. Let me tell you, with the Akura, oh my goodness. So, here, I'll eat this one. Okay. A little bit of kick from that spicy tuna, but that is amazing. You guys got to try this at home. It's really very, very simple. You just got to find soy paper. Mm. Mm, so different from seaweed, you know, Hero? That is amazing. Mm. So, so, so good. Trust me, people. You have to try this roll at home. And even if it doesn't look perfect, mm -hmm. you still you have the taste. I'm sure with some practice, you can make it look really, really good. If you couldn't find the soybean paper, just do it with the seaweed. Yeah, yeah, if you can't find, yeah, if you can't, but mm -hmm. uh, soy paper, wow, it's just another level, just because it's a different tasting. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very light in taste. I wish you guys, I wish we had more. <laughs> yeah, we can make them more. <laughs> Here, thank you so much. Thank you very much. See you guys soon. See you next time. <laughs>